everyone, welcome back to the Night Sky Knitting Channel. My name is Rachel and I am a knitter based out of Ottawa, Canada, and today I am doing a very special video, which is my first ever dedicated yarn haul and review. So this video is sponsored by Hobby Yarns, who kindly contacted me to ask if I would be willing to try a bunch of their yarns for free in exchange for an honest review on my channel of my thoughts and feelings. And that's kind of the dealio for this one. So if you don't know about Hobby already, they it might be pronounced Hobi, I'm not sure, because it is a Danish brand. It is a Danish yarn company that ships to all sorts of countries across the world and carries a very, very large assortment of yarns on their website. They have all sorts of different fiber contents. They have everything from your standard wool, alpaca, cotton, to more interesting things like tensile and acrylic, and even I think a paper yarn. And they have a bunch of dedicated hobby branded yarns, which are, I think, I think I'm only looking at hobby branded yarns for this. I think I only got those, but then they had a whole bunch of other brands stocked on their website as well. They have worldwide shipping. I don't know if to every single country, but to a larger assortment of countries than I've ever seen from any other yarn company. And they have a whole bunch of other notions, tools, fun things available on their website. And they use sales pretty often. So I highly recommend that you check them out and I'm really excited to show you what I got from them. One thing I find especially useful on their site is that they organize their yarn not just by weight or fiber content, but also have categories like organic, sock yards, or hanked yarns, so you can be really precise in your searches. And when you click on a yarn, you have all the useful specs on the left, but built into each page, you have reviews from previous customers so you can get honest opinions, a whole bunch of pattern suggestions that were made using that yarn right there, and a user submitted photo gallery so you can see what the yarn looks like knit up and in a bunch of different lights, which is super valuable to me. And I usually stock Insta to get that kind of intel. So I really appreciate it and it saves me time. They also have a pretty robust pattern library with a whole bunch of different knit and crochet yeah. patterns. So the reason why when they reached out to do this partnership with me, I said yes and I'm very excited to do it and to talk about their yarns with you guys is because I've actually ordered from them twice before, before I even started the podcast, completely with my own money out of my own, you know, desire to use their yarns and I had a pretty positive experience. So when they offered the chance to send me more of them, I was like, heck yeah, would love to. And that's why I felt confident trying them and confident talking about them with you guys. So. Without further ado, I'm going to tell you, I ordered from them two organic cotton yarns and three wool blend sock yarns that I'm really, really excited about. So I received all my yarn, which is in this bag on my lap. I think it is best to start with... I also knit a couple swatches out of the plant-based yarns because those are the ones I'm going to be knitting garments out of and it really just felt appropriate to get a better sense of how they feel by knitting a swatch before I tried to give you guys a review and a haul and you know like thoughts of them because with sock yarns I kind of don't care as much. I've never knit a swatch for a sock before I just cast on and we go from there. And also knitting a swatch with a sock yarn, if it's self-patterning, hint, hint, wink, wink, uh, knitting a swatch is not is going to obscure how the pattern will actually look when it's knitted into a sock with a specific stitch count. So that kind of felt unnecessary, but for the plant-based yarns, absolutely, I did want to. And so I've knit with them. I'm really excited to talk about them. Spoiler alert, I like them. But the very first one is this. Hobby Baby Cotton Organic, which I got in the color Eucalyptus, which is number 10. I got, I think, three or four of these, and these are each 50 grams. And for 50 grams, you get 170 meters, which is 186 yards. So unfortunately, the color's blowing out a little bit. Well, I've actually worked with this yarn before, I ordered some of this in my first ever hobby order in December 2020 during I think around the Christmas Boxing Day sales when I had not really yet picked up knitting for real and I was still crocheting a whole bunch and I thought 
you know, cotton would be great for crocheting. And I got a few balls of this in white, yellow, and green in order to make a bunch of those cotton face round scrubbies for friends as gifts. And I crocheted my friend a birthday gift, which was a fried egg coin purse pouch thing. It ended up being way bigger than a coin purse, but using this and then I also made my mom and myself little crocheted AirPod cases. So this is knit in the baby cotton, not knit, crocheted in the baby cotton organic too in an older color, the name of which has escaped me. But I never, and I really, really enjoyed crocheting with it. I used a whole bunch of it. It's really, really soft to the touch. It doesn't have a super dry feel to the hands and it slid on my crochet hook quite nicely and ended up, it's really, really soft. So it was really good for things that are close to the face. It's easy to wash. And for this, I just wanted something to kind of buffer my case if it fell, because it's a charging case. And then if the charger stops, charger stops working, then I'm completely out of luck. But I'd never knit with it before. And so when they contacted me, this was kind of at the top of my list of yarns to try, because I enjoyed it so much as a crocheter, but then I've run out and I have not, I've never knit with it. And I'm really happy to report that it was so much fun to knit with. It's so soft, it's not super grippy. I really like their color selection. And I love, love, love how the swatch knitted up. So I knit kind of a bigger swatch. Same size as the, the little ball. And I knit this on a four millimeter needle, which is kind of a lot considering that this is technically a fingering weight yarn. They recommended needle, or I guess maybe, yeah. Their recommended needle size is a 2.5 to a 3.5 millimeter. Um, and also the same for a hook for crocheting. And yeah, it's category one, super fine. I knit this on a four millimeter needle because I'm planning to use this yarn to knit the As Friends tank by Jessie May, but knit it a lot longer because that's a very, very cropped top and I would like something a little bit more coverage and it uses as many of Jessie May's patterns do a very uh, loose gauge. And I hit gauge on the four millimeter needle with this yarn, which is quite nice. I appreciate its versatility. And as you can see, it's not wildly opaque. Well, just fell off my lap. It's not wildly opaque, which I think makes this a really nice versatile choice. And I think that this is great for summer garments. It is so soft. It was a lot of fun to knit. And I really like I having, I have to resist constantly touching it to my face. I think it's gonna wear super well based on the experience of this being battered in all of my purses at all times and coat pockets. And it blocked well, it was really easy to knit. I think also in part because I was using such a large needle size, it wasn't very tight, my stitches weren't tight. And I really appreciate the feel of it, the experience knitting it, and I like that it's technically a fingering weight, but I can hit a decent like 20 to 21 stitch gauge on a four millimeter with it and achieve a fabric that I'm happy with. Something else that I really like about this, and I think this is part of the reason why it's called baby yarn, is because it's so soft, but it is uh, GOTS certified organic. And GOTS is an eco label. Yeah, here it is. And it's the global organic textile standard right there, which it is to my knowledge, a very trustworthy, it's a reputable organic textile labeling. And I know that with sustainability and so much greenwashing and marketing, it's really hard to tell what is genuinely sustainable and what's not. But cotton is one of the most polluting and harmful crops to this planet because of the sheer amount of pesticides that are needed to grow and produce it. And so organic cotton is one of those things. It's a choice that you can make that actually does make a difference in terms of environmental impact. And so I always try and get organic cotton stuff when I can. And I'm really, really happy that Hobby offers this. And for a pretty reasonable price point, I think this is like $5.50 for, yeah, it's like $5.40 for 50 grams and 170 meters and you don't need a ton of it to make a lot of things so i do think this would be really good for baby clothes it is really really soft it's fun to knit with they have a pretty decent color selection 
and it is made in Egypt, Egyptian cotton, organic Egyptian cotton that's very high quality. And from an eco label, they actually took the time to source cotton from a producer that took the time to get a not very easy to get eco label, which I appreciate because a bunch of the others are not very meaningful. Like Ecotech certified means very little, uh, but that's neither here nor there. I also saw when I was perusing their website that I guess this is a very popular yarn. One thing though, so at the very beginning of this, I said I got this in the color eucalyptus. And when I placed my order with them, I said I would be very happy with the color eucalyptus or I'd be very happy with the color ice blue. Surprise me. And I opened the package. I ripped into it like a rabid animal, but I said either the green or the blue, great, happy with either. And it was kind of fun to see which one they would send me. And I opened the package and I saw the balls of this and I got, I thought, oh, okay, cool. They sent me the blue one. And then I looked at the label a few minutes later and it's, you know, number 10, which is their eucalyptus. I went on the website and I checked again just to be safe. And I will say, I don't always know how for the solid colors for this, the, maybe it's just my computer, but this does not really look like a eucalyptus green to me. It really feels closer to a blue in the blue family. In some lights it's more blue and in some lights it's more green, but I think the baseline of this is a blue. It is a blue that I like, it's a greeny blue, and I'm really happy with it, but I feel like their color representation of solid colors on their website is kind of so-so. And keep that in mind if you do decide to order, maybe look through their project galleries, which they have on their website, along with, you know, user reviews. People often post photos of what they used and look through the photos to get maybe a little bit more of an accurate color representation. So that's my one note about this one, but this one is, you know, ding, 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 winner, winner, chicken dinner, as far as I am concerned. I love it. I really genuinely think I will be using this again, moving forward and ordering from them on my own to use this for more knit garments where it makes sense to use 100% cotton. After seeing that, I was very happy to see that they actually just came out with a sport weight version of the same yarn. And that is my second plant-based yarn that I will be using to knit garments this summer. And so this is the Baby Cotton Midi, which is also 100% GOT certified Egyptian cotton, made in Egypt, designed in Denmark. I got a few of these. I don't know why I feel the need to show you all of them, but here it is. And I got this in the color pastel purple, which I feel is kind of accurate. That feels like a pastel purple to me. And this, in contrast to the Baby Cotton Organic, the original, is 50 grams for 105 meters, which is 115 yards. So this is marketed as a sport weight alternative to their fingering weight. And the recommended needle size is a 3.5, recommended hook size is a 3 to a 3.5. And it comes in a more limited shade range and it's mostly pastels. However, this yarn is also offered in this weight. And I had a swatch with this one too. <laughs> Here it is. To give you an idea of what this looks like knit up, also on a four millimeter needle. So. This is, you can see kind of also the drape and the softness of the original baby cotton on a four millimeter, whereas this one, because it's thicker, it really doesn't have that the same way. And I still really liked it. I, in person, you know, I don't think that this is really the color for my skin tone, but I'm still, this is still a priority to cast on with and start the project that I have planned for it, which is the Me Oh My Tea by Park Williams, which is a knitting pattern that I first saw ages ago when I first started to knit and I've had saved for a long time because I think it'll make a really, really nice classic t-shirt. And it's knit in 100% cotton, which made me think it was the perfect project for this because a lot of t-shirt patterns or just summer top patterns are still knit 
in animal fiber like wool or alpaca, mostly wool, not often alpaca. And that just, another one rolled off my lap. That just doesn't really work in my climate. And so I've been kind of wary to do the, the substitution always from a plant-based to an animal fiber protein yarn because it does affect drape, it affects fit, it affects a bunch of things. And even if I don't really want a 100% wool t-shirt, wool has certain properties that go into how the design looks. And so sometimes it's a little bit of a, a nerve wracking experience, but the Mio Mai tea's knit in 100% cotton DK. And this is 100% cotton sport. And I managed to achieve the gauge on the Neo size, which is also for, actually, I think for that one, it's meant to be on a, knit on a tighter gauge. The pattern calls for a 3.75 millimeter needle, but I, I might go down to that, but I also really like how, you know, I like the density and the fit of this as well. And what do I have to say about this? I do like it a little bit less than I like the original one. It is a little bit less soft. It's not rough or anything, it's still cotton, but this really feels like garment cotton and this is hedging the teensiest bit closer to dishcloth cotton, but it's not dishcloth cotton. And I'm still really excited to knit this into a t-shirt to be worn ASAP in this weather. And it was still a lot of fun to knit with, but it's not the same almost buttery, soft smoothness as this one. Even though it's made from the same fiber, I'm wondering if that's because I knit this at a looser gauge than I knit this. And I'm also wondering if that's just what happens when you add just like a couple extra plies because cotton is a very heavy fiber. And that might just be one of the things that happens when you add more of it. But I really like this. I do think I would probably buy it for myself again depending on how the t-shirt wears, but this one, because I know that I can hit a DK gauge that I like using it, is the one that is my priority. But if you're not in the market for a fingering and you are in the market for a sport weight, this is a pretty solid option in my opinion. And the fabric is more opaque. It has some really beautiful pastel colors it is also got certified organic. I think it would be great for baby knits, as the name would suggest, and I think it's really, really cool. But Hobby has these yarns. The midi version, the sport weight, is a little bit more expensive. I think it's $6.10 or something, or maybe just $6 for 100, not 100, for 50 grams. But that's still in my opinion, pretty decently affordable, especially since they go on sale quite often. And I knit these swatches kind of a little while ago. So I've been quite sick and unable to film this video as I wanted to for ages. And I had a lot of time to, you know, examine these swatches and form opinions on them and look at the yarn and actually, you know, knit these swatches. And I'm genuinely really happy with both of them especially this one, but also still this one. I think I'm going to knit with this one first because I'm really excited about the garment that this is going to knit into and I think it's going to be lovely. And so the remaining three yarns that I got from Hobby are all sock yarns and I'm really, really excited about them. The very first I got is this, which is the Atlas Happy Feet yarn, which is, as you can tell, a self-striping yarn. And apologies, the label has indeed ripped off, so it's not still attached, but it does look like this. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, the glare is kind of... There you go, Atlas Happy Feet. As you can see, it's a 75-25 wool nylon blend, and this is in the color Circus. It was, oh, made with love in Italy. I do appreciate that they put some of the information on the provenance of their yarns on their website and on their labels because that doesn't really give you much of the full picture, but it's a start and I appreciate having some of that knowledge because a lot of yarn sourcing can be quite opaque, which is just true of garments and I think fiber in general, but I appreciate that there is, you know, a step being taken. And this is 100 grams for 420 meters, which is 459 yards. And uh, it's a cell striping sock yarn. I don't, you know, immediately the second I saw it, you guys know I'm a sucker for self striping sock yarn. 
and I went for it. I'm really enjoying the rainbow here. I like that it's kind of tightly plied. It's not a flimsy one. I think this will wear really well. It's something that I think will have really nice bounce. I think it'll be really pretty. And I'm planning to use this to make my roommate a pair of stripey ribbed socks for her birthday because she loves rainbows. She loves rainbow and this kind of just seems like it has her name all over it. I haven't used this yet for socks, so I can't really give you a super in-depth, you know, review on it, but it's soft. It seems really durable. I'm quite happy with it has good heft. The colors for the self-striping are exactly what was pictured when I opened my bag. And I think they have a really a fun collection of these. And also my understanding is that their Atlas line comes in a few different weights. This is their sock version. So it's, you know, sock weight and it has the 70, no, 25% nylon, but a whole bunch of, I think they have two other weights of this in really fun and funky colors that are maybe like a DK or a worsted. I'll have everything linked down below so you can check it out if you want. But yeah, this will be stripey rib socks for my roommate for her birthday, which is not coming up soon, but I like to plan in advance and I saw this and I thought, yeah, that's for her. Has her name written all over it. The second sock yarn I got has my name written all over it. Uh, anyone who's been here before will know that I love green. I love green. I love it with all my heart. And so I saw this and I thought, yes, that will be socks for me. And this is the Universe Sock Wool, which is 74% wool, 24% polyamide, and 2% polyester. And that 2% polyester is this metallic thread you see running through the yarn. How fun is that? I was really excited when I saw this. I love the color variation. This is the color New Moon. I love self striping yarns. I really like the idea of this metallic thread, which I've never worked with that kind of thing before. And it had good reviews. And I really like that Hobby has a review function on their site so I can see what other people think, have posted photos of their own projects, get some inspiration there. So I added this to my bag, didn't think twice, carried on my merry way, told my mom I was really excited about it, and uh, waited for it to arrive. When it did, you might have already noticed this as I showed you the extreme close-ups. It really? I think this is a single ply yarn. I'll show you again. Let me see if I can weasel out one of the, the little plies. Do you see that? Doesn't this look like a single ply? Which is alarming for a sock yarn. I then looked again on the website because I was wondering how could I miss that? And I was just so excited by the color and the self-striping and the metallic aspect of it that I just didn't think to look that closely at the plies in the photo. And then I looked in the reviews and I realized not most of the people, most of the people in them had not actually used this to make scarves. They used it to make tops or shawls or scarves and they were happy with those. And I think what happened is the universe sock wool is much like the Atlas Happy Feet, it is a line that they have that comes in three different weights. And I imagine what happened was they have two thicker weights of yarn. I didn't, I don't have it off the top of my head, but let's say like, you know, a worsted or a DK. And then they scaled this down for it and added nylon. And they were like, cool, now it's a sock version. Kind of forgetting that a big aspect of the durability of a sock yarn isn't just the <laughs> nylon content, but it's the, the plies and the, the twist to the yarn. So this is a little bit first impressions disappointing, but I'm not going to be deterred from knitting myself socks. This just absolutely solidifies to me that it will be a pair of socks for me and nobody else 
because I don't imagine these are going to hold up super well to a lot of wear or being worn in shoes and I don't want to subject that to anybody else as a gift so these will be mine and then stay tuned in a future podcasts and I can give you an update on how these actually wear but I think they'll still be lots of fun to knit I think they will be beautiful I think they will be soft they just might not be worn in shoes and do I have anything else to say about this it's made in turkey that's cool and this is this is ecotex certified they're confident in textiles standard of 100 which means that 100 known commonly used chemicals that are harmful in textiles are not used in this but there are so many chemicals made in things that that doesn't necessarily mean much i still really like it like it's still gorgeous and i'll take the label off so you can see here Look at that, it's like a starry night. I think it'll be lovely. I just don't think they'll wear well. And so they will be just for me and probably just for around the house. But they are, they are machine wash, so that's nice. And my very last yarn from this yarn haul from Hobby is the bougiest of them all. So the others, I kind of wanted to opt for well, the thing is, is that Hobby, I think, does focus on more budget-friendly options in general. I know that they use a lot of blends that focus on affordability. They use a lot of acrylic mixes, use a lot of cotton mixes. Like I said, this was $5.40 a ball, this was $6 a ball. That's not a lot of money, considering how expensive this hobby can get really quickly. Both the Universe Sock Wool and the Happy Feet, I think, are in the range of like 14 to 16, which is not ultra budget for 100 grams, but it's not very expensive either, considering they're both predominantly wool. But Hobby also stocks a couple more luxury items and i kind of could not resist trying one of them for myself and so this is the unicorn yarn by them as well and as you can see from the label it is 75 percent merino 25 percent polyamide this is a hundred grams in a hank and it is exactly 400 meters which is 437 yards and it's a fingering white sock yarn and this thing is okay oh and this is in the color gracious which is number two and this is hand dyed this is a hand dyed merino sock yarn so when i was perusing their site thinking about what i would like to try I stumbled upon this one and this one is the result of a partnership with an indie hand dyer based out of Turkey who had lots of experience working in textiles and I think decided to leave that or move into yarn dye. And so Hobby has an exclusive partnership with her to produce the colors for their unicorn line. And it's unicorn because you have this gorgeous gradient of color, speckles, variation, the whole nine yards offer on their site, which I think is really, really cool. If you decide to have a little treat for yourself and you don't have a lot of indie or hand dyed or variated, not variated, very variation in the kinds of yarns you've offered to you. And this is so deliciously soft. I, this is the softest of the three soft yarns. I think it would go this number one, the Universe Sockwool Single Ply one, and the New Moon number two, and then number three is the Atlas Happy Feet, but again, it's a sock yarn, so I don't really care. But I think this is lovely. They have, I think, five or six different variated, sorry, colorways with this kind of strong variation that they stock. And obviously every skin is going to be different, but this kind of general idea and this color palette is going to be in each one. And then they also have a solids line. So it's also it's still hand-dyed merino sock yarn, but it's in tonals. It's in solid colors, which is also really cool if you're in the mood for a special treat. And 
I was thinking this would be a really nice pair of socks for somebody or for me, but I have a new roommate who just moved in and these are her colors. She loves pink. She loves yellow, but pink is her favorite. And she added a lot of yellow and pink decor to the house and has said that her favorite color is pink and a lot of her accessories are pink. So I'm thinking this will probably end up as a hat for her for her birthday, which I have until December to prepare because A, this is so soft. It's next to skin soft, very much so. And it isn't, it is, um, uh, there's nylon in it and it's machine wash, which I like for gifts because I've said this before and I'll say it again, you have to consider, or at least I try to consider, is it going to be stressful for the intended recipient of the gift to care for it if I give it to them and it's like hand wash only? And if the answer is yes, then it's, that takes away from the gift element, like the thing that you're giving them is a, is a nice treat or a nice treasure. So superwash is important to me for gifts, depending on the individual, but for the vast majority of them. And I think this would just be a really nice hat for her coloring. I think it'll make her really happy. And I kind of want this gorgeousness showcased better, not on feet, but on a head. And I think this is gonna be fine for almost everybody. I know she doesn't have a wool allergy, but I, I mean, it's even a little bit warm today and there's, there's nothing, like there's no itch factor whatsoever. This is deliciously smooth and deliciously soft. I do this a lot where I'll buy a fancy or I'll get a fancy skein of hand dyed super soft sock yarn because I love knitting socks and then I'll look at it and I'll think it's too nice to be socks. So that's that. And last but not least in my order without me asking, Hobby included this really nice tote bag. And I think you can see by how far I have to lean back and the fact that I keep peeking around to see if this whole thing is in frame. It's pretty big. This is a hefty guy. And it feels very sturdy. It's made out of this nice canvas that has good weave, good weight, good heft to it. Has this really cute design on the front. And I'm so grateful that they sent me this bag, they sent me all of this yarn, and that they reached out to me for this partnership. If you're a fan of the many pattern designers they've partnered with to sell patterns on their site, or you want 10% off regular priced orders, or double the points on your orders, I recommend that you check out Hobby Plus, which is a monthly membership that gives you all those things, and try out the Hobby Bingo app where you can play games and win prizes online. That's pretty much all I have to talk to you guys about today. Looking forward to catching up on one of our regular podcasts very, very soon. I have so much to tell you guys, so much to show you guys. But my takeaway from this is I'm really, really pleased with these yarns that they send me. They are so up my alley. They had so many things that appealed to me on their site. And if you have similar tastes to me, I think really truly that they will have something that appeals to you too or else i would not be talking about it i would not have agreed and i would not be sharing it with you i hope that you guys have a really really nice day thank you for hanging out and i'll talk to you guys again soon okay